you to fix up the plug. I'll plug it in on the arms and might fit you. Me come along in case you decided to drive off with his merchandise. Come on, let's get to the deal. On her own personal pledge drive, and I'm doing the same for free radio in your area. This radio is free, and unless you pay for it, right now it won't be much longer. Explain that if you can. Thanks. It's a disgrace having to beg for money. It's Do you always drive this bad? And your only moral purpose is your own happiness, no matter what the cost to others. I've been abroad, and I know what it's like. Let me tell you, the food's no good. You drive loco! India is in the news again. Streets riddled with elephant dung and snake charmers. Food that gives you gas. An unhealthy respect for the cow. And a caste system that nobody understands. Chuck Summers is in New Delhi. Thanks, Dwayne. Despite its name, the city is nothing like a deli. Except the food is old and the coffee tastes like armpit. India is an ancient culture and it shows. Sweaty hordes of yogi folk waft about chanting Om and giving that smug look that comes with inappropriate stretching in public. I learned quickly not to show your teeth when at the monkey temples. It makes the monkeys angry, but I didn't come here to get in feces fights. I've got a little Brazilian waiter I do that with on Friday nights back at home, and my wife is out playing bridge. These cocky contortionists aren't just a threat to our convenience stores back in America. There's a bigger threat looming on the horizon. Dwayne, I've been here for 24 hours and I can tell you Indian food is pureed terrorism, resulting in gut-wrenching ass explosions that make you feel like you're shitting fire. My trip began in Calcutta, where a... Oh, oh no, not again. There you have news from the front line. No matter how painful, that's what you get from New World Order. Abroad as it really is. Dirty, smelly, and desperate for handouts from the greatest nation on earth. That's the truth. Now, if you're scared of people with different colored skin, or a different belief system than you, it doesn't mean you're small-minded. It means you've understood that there is right and there is wrong. Whatever the liberals in the government try to tell you, when you're facing the final judgment,
Alright, I don't know how to do this, but I'm going to try. I've got something to do with it. 